These are the best camera apps for iPhone in 2023. We've tested all the leading options and narrowed it down to the top two iPhone camera apps that we recommend to help you decide which is the best camera app for you. And as we go through, let me know down in the comments, what's your go-to camera app and why? So as you probably know, there are so many camera app options out there. And it's been a really tough call this year to narrow this down to just two. But my top two camera apps this year go to Cinema P3 and Filmic Pro. Both of these will really give you DS SLR-like settings or pro camera settings on your iPhone and let you dial in your settings, things like your ISO, your shutter speed, your white balance, and help you unlock more control over your recording formats and style too. So I'm gonna dive into each one of these so you can see why they're so amazing and why they're my top picks. So Cinema P3 Pro Camera, it's got an amazing, really easy to use interface. It makes it so easy for you to jump in and to quickly and easily find everything really, really fast. And I absolutely love that you get direct access to all of your main functions and things that you would be using all the time, easily accessible right on the main page or the main dashboard. You can quickly see things like your video formats and your settings all up the top at any time, but it's also not just a display. You can actually tap on each of those things to bring up the settings and to change them, which again is super intuitive and saves you a bunch of time needing to go and dive into menus and settings and things. So the app itself is pretty customizable too with a bunch of settings that you can either enable or disable for your liking and for your use case. Things like adjusting the focus loop size, you can enable or disable a tilt sensor and your guides, but there's also some cool stuff in there as well, like a correction feature for lens distortion. So if you're gonna be filming with the wide angle camera lens, then it can process that footage to remove that fisheye look. And you can even dial in things like the speed that you're able to zoom at. But one of the features I absolutely love in here is that you've also got the option to set it to preserve your camera settings. So you're able to use the same settings for each of the different camera modes. And you've also got the ability to have it automatically lock your white balance when you hit record, which is great if you're shooting in a run and gun situation. You can even control stuff like disabling your phone screen from automatically dimming or control your display brightness when you're using the app as well. So you don't need to be jumping back and forwards between your phone settings and the app. You can access this stuff right from the app. Now they've also got hardware support in here for things like anamorphic lenses too. Now in regards to the pricing, there is a free version of the app, which is good if you wanna jump in and have a play around, but in order to unlock all of the features, then you will need the pro version, which is currently selling for $8.99. But overall, it's a great app. It's got a bunch of features and controls and stuff in there. I personally love how easy it is to use. And it's gonna be great for someone, whether you're an absolute beginner, right through to that sort of intermediate level, given the amount of features and controls and stuff that are in there. But for those of you that are looking for the most amount of pro grade features and that's where Filmic Pro is going to be the one for you. So Filmic Pro is kind of like the OG when it comes to advanced camera apps for smartphones. It's been around for quite a while now and this is something that is getting some pro grade usage as well. There's people that are using these for movies and documentaries and things because of the amount of features and controls that are in here. But fairly recently Filmic Pro has actually had a bit of an overhaul, not just in the app itself but also on their pricing model. So previously it was a one-time fee for lifetime access to the app but they've now transitioned over to a subscription model for the new version, the new interface of the app. So they have, I guess, ruffled a few feathers with people that paid lifetime access, now not having access to the newer version, but I'd essentially treat it like it is a new app altogether. Anyone that purchased the previous version can still download and use the legacy app, but if you do wanna access the new interface, all the new features and everything, then that really is a new purchase on that new subscription model. And in my experience from looking at the two, it really is a big step up and a big improvement on the new version over the old one, with one of the biggest improvements being the overall interface and giving you quick access to a lot of the major controls and things that you would use on a day-to-day -day basis. So things like being able to quickly and easily adjust the audio inputs and even your volume level and having the ability to quickly customize things up like switching between basic audio bars to pro level audio levels, literally just by tapping on it. The settings menu has been overhauled as well. It's now easier to navigate without the need to dive into menus and menus on things to find stuff. Now it's all pretty logical and again, fast. I absolutely love that they have a custom function button, giving you fast access to one of your most used features. So you get to choose what happens when you tap this button. Again, saving you from diving into menus and stuff. In terms of usability, adjusting the focus and exposure is easy just by moving the corresponding circle or square around on the screen. Or if you want more granular control, then you can dive into the sliders there as well. I love that you can easily see your recording settings and formats and everything right at the top. 
just like you could with Cinema P3 Pro. And again, this isn't just a readout or information. These are buttons that link directly to those settings so that you can adjust it. So you can see you can easily change things like the picture profile or the gamma curve from natural, dynamic, flat, or even log profile, all here from the main screen. Filmic Pro's also got great control over things like your white balance. So there's presets in there that are available as well, but you also have the ability to create your own custom presets. And again, you can also manually set your color temperature and the tint in here too. Now, while a lot of apps out there now support different hardware integrations with gimbals and lenses and things, Filmic Pro has the most amount of support, most amount of interaction. And it also supports things like clean HDMI output, the ability to use anamorphic lenses, but also save an anamorphic preview version of your video there as well. And a feature that I absolutely love is the ability to apply different overlays of different aspect ratios or guides to your videos. And even just having this feature as a preview is amazing, but you also have the ability to crop your video to those aspect ratios in Filmic Pro as well, meaning that you can create videos in different formats like square or full cinematic widescreen if you want to, all in Filmic Pro too. And the other thing I absolutely love about Filmic Pro is their companion app for remote control. So the Filmic Remote app. This is something that I use all the time, especially if I'm here filming solo by myself, that I can monitor and control Filmic Pro from another device. Now in terms of pricing, as I said, they overhauled this too, and it's no longer a one-time fee. It's now a subscription. Your options are weekly, $2.99, or there's also a yearly option for $49.99. Now while that does put Filmic Pro as one of the more expensive options out there, I really think that given what you're getting access to in there, literally stuff that people are making movies and documentaries on, the amount of features and controls, it's a pretty cheap purchase to have access to that stuff for your content creation, especially if you're trying to compare it to a dedicated device that could do all of that stuff. So overall in rounding this out, if you are someone who is more of a beginner or someone up to sort of an intermediate level, then that's where P3 Cinema Pro could be the best option for you. But if you're someone who's looking for more advanced features and controls and having access to things like the Filmic Remote app for remote controlling as well, but also the largest range of hardware integration and things, then it's hard to go past Filmic Pro. So now that you've got your camera app sorted, if you wanna learn how to get the most out of your smartphone when you're creating videos, then check out the link on screen to our free PDF guide, taking you through the ultimate filming process, helping you create amazing videos right from your smartphone. And also check out the links down in the description box below. We've got a bunch of resources and videos and things down there designed to help you with your filming and editing too. I'll see you in there.